Welcome to an Exosploit tutorial. Please help me by commenting and rating this video. This tutorial is aimed at people with a beginner skill level. Alright, hello there. Today I'm going to be talking about file recovery. So, what would be file recovery? So let's say you had a bunch of files you were deleting, and you deleted all these files, and then all of a sudden you realized that you didn't actually want to delete them all, and you wanted to keep one or two of them. But the problem is you emptied your recycle bin already, or you held shift delete, and you've permanently deleted it. Well, there is ways you can retrieve these files. One way would be using commercial software. Seagate offers a file recovery, but that's $129. There's a cheaper uh, alternative from PC Tools, file recovery, for $39.95. Now, I'll be focusing on the free alternatives today. Now, uh, there's lots of free alternative uh, file recovery software available, but the one I'm going to be showing you how to use is Recover. Alright, so let's get started. First thing you're going to need to do is download Recover. You can do this either by going into the link um, in the description, or just following along here. not very big. It's about three or four megabytes. So double click English, click next, and then agree to this. And then you can just leave it in its default location unless you have a reason not to. But this is where it will work fine. Now you don't need to add a start menu shortcut or the optional Yahoo toolbar. Uh, the start menu shortcut is one of the shortcuts in your start menu. And it'll appear in that list. I don't want that. I just want a desktop shortcut and it to automatically check for updates so that I'll always have the most recent version of Recover. Now click install and it'll finish before you know it. Alright, so now that we have Recover installed, now let's say we accidentally deleted a video. Just a simple little video. When it's only five seconds long. Alright, so let's say we moved it to the recycle bin, and then we emptied the recycle bin. Yes? Alright. So, our file is gone forever. Oh no. Now, one thing you need to remember is as soon as you realize you've deleted a file and you want to recover it, do not download anything and try not to transfer files around because you may write over it. And then it will not be recoverable with free software. You might even need to bring it into someone if it was important data. Now, with that said, open Recover. You'll have their wizard. Just click Next. Now, what kind of file did you delete? Well, mine was a video. Documents would be for text files, PDFs and stuff. Uh, music, obviously audio files, pictures, and other would be for like archives or install files. So select your type of file. And now, I deleted it from inside the recycle bin. This is probably where you're going to want to click. Click next. Now they're going to offer to do the deep scan, which can take up to two hours. Uh, we're going to do the fast scan, which will take about 30 seconds. Probably even less. Alright, so we have our file here. We're going to recover this to the desktop. Now, if this was, say, maybe a 200 megabyte file or something big, you're not going to want to save it to your local disk. You're going to want to put in a, maybe a CD, and a blank CD or DVD, and select that. Or maybe put in a flash drive and select the flash drive. Just don't save it to your C drive or where, wherever it was taken from and deleted from because it'll probably overwrite itself while you're recovering it and it'll corrupt itself. So click OK. Now this is, this is the warning that I just talked about. I'm going to click yes because it's very small. Alright. I may have recovered this. We're going to give it a shot here. Alright, so it's 
broken, so I'm going to attempt to correct this. And here it is. So this was just a walkthrough on recovering data yourself with free software. If the file was deleted and you proceeded to use your computer and delete and download more files, then you might need to bring this to a professional to have your data recovered or get professional software. In any case, thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please rate it and comment. And if you want to see more video tutorials, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.